Hello, how you doing? Okay, let's pick up from last night, shall we? So I fix my disgusting rat's nest. Anyway, uh, right. I think we can get damaged by the sun in this one, can't we? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it's like an insta kill if we lose our shields. We've got pretty, we've got pretty beefy shields. I think the game may have expected us to come here uh, a lot earlier. <laughs> What else we got? Open facility gate. Bada bing, bada boom. Please move. Hey Julie, how you doing? Yes. Yeah. Let's see how long <laughs> it takes us to find her and get out of this mission uh, alive. Fingers crossed it's under two hours, hey? Although the geth aren't too strong, so we should be good. I changed my weapon? I did. Now we've got this thing too. Oh, excuse me. But anyway, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> okay, good. Went a bit early. Oh no. <laughs> That's no good. Ugh. Sometimes it really does feel like your body's uh just does not want to play ball, hey. Cause you like you try and make the intent of going to bed at a decent hour, and then your <laughs> body and brain are like, well you know what? Now I'm not doing it. And it's just like, oh good, thank you. You really, you really set me up for disaster tomorrow. Interesting. Yeah, I go to the gym uh, very late when I get the chance because uh, I'm working on like office stuff this week. I I can sort of like stay up a bit later, usually doing that work, and then I'll go to the gym nice and late when there's pretty much no one there, which is the only time that I'm ever confident enough to take pictures of myself when there is absolutely no one else in the vicinity. <laughs> Whoa. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was about that, at three o'clock. And then I came home and had a shower and went to bed. <laughs> Screw the people, yeah. Yeah, th we don't... My gym is okay sometimes, like at certain times of the day. Sometimes I'll go, like on a normal week, I'll go about 9 o'clock. Just after the stream. And then... Um, usually there's the people there about that time. Oh, excuse me. They're okay. But... Sort of, if you go around 6 o'clock-ish, or any time through the day, stuff like that, the people there are just really obnoxious, and um, really, it's really annoying to do a workout, because in my gym is unfortunately populated by people who kind of... They'll, they'll like spread out into seven different fucking bits of equipment. And they'll put down, like, you know, their phone on one, their uh, towel on another, their drink bottle on another, and just, like, take up 
sh a shit ton of equipment, and so many people do that. <laughs> it's so fucking aggravating, so I've given up. I just go at so much later now to uh, preserve my uh, mental health, <laughs> I, th I think. Um, although, and it, like, it works out, because I'm not... I don't like being watched work out. It's just, just like a, a very... Um, it's just like you get that feeling when there's a lot of people there that people are watching you. And usually that's not the case, but you can't really help it once it gets to when there's like 50 people in the gym. Someone's going to be looking at you regardless if they're doing it on purpose or not. It's just like it throws me out and then I can't work out properly. <laughs> it's just like ugh. So yeah. Although, funnily enough, there's actually every maybe Friday night there's probably one or two people there really late and that's kind of like their routine as well and they're like they usually in different corners of the gym which is always nice uh, but long story short yes it was very late <laughs> fuck I went on a tangent there didn't I I'm somehow still alive and I wasn't concentrating properly. Would you look at that? Although everyone's dead. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, I can use Reeve now. That's only the second level. That did so much damage. He put some more points into that one, I think. Oh, do I? Hang on a second. I thought I got that. Restores health and gives temporary when the power is used against all oh, organics. Okay, so it doesn't count against these these boys. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's uh, I wear that outfit because apparently a lot of people I know like went to school with because they still live around the same area, which I'm not happy about. Um. But a lot of people that I know go to the gym, and for me, the gym's very much like a cut off from everything else. Just chill out for a bit, you know, my own little me time, which I get very little of these days. Uh, and it got to the point where so many of the people I went to school with, and just like other people I've met along the way, I suppose kept coming up to me and talking to me and then by the time like I was uh they were finished having a talk like a chat <laughs> it was like 45 minutes or half an hour and it was fine at first but then it started to really get annoying and I'm one of those people who can't be like you know what you need to shut up and go away I don't want to be rude uh, so I just started disguising myself instead. Uh, it seems to have worked though. Because I don't, like, it that makes me sound like such an asshole, but I don't have a lot of time to, um, to get in, <laughs> get into the gym and work out. Uh, I have, like, if I'm working a normal week, the timeline of stuff is very sh small. And that, that hour is literally all that I can kind of uh, put together to work out. Um, or else I just don't have time to. So, oh shit, am I out of ammo completely? Do they not drop ammo? And it, yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. The ninja mode, <laughs> pretty much, isn't it? The mask and the hood. I bought that long... You can't really see it, but that jacket actually goes down to my feet. Or like maybe mid, uh, mid calf. That's that's it's a really long jacket. It's really good um, for that. I got some new shoes coming too. Should be fun. Uh, 
I can't <laughs> I can't hit him where he is. That's annoying. <laughs> that, bit, that is another way of doing it. Uh, see, that's funny. I mean, at a certain point you have to though, right? There's a there's a group of... Um, I haven't seen them much lately. Cause my gym has this thing, uh, if you bring people in who aren't supposed to be there, you get like an extra fees hacked onto your um, membership. And it's like fifty bucks. It's a lot of money for, and that's for each person you bring in. And I have a sneaking suspicion that they um, were bringing in people. That might be why I haven't seen them lately. But I think one the one one of the times I saw them there, they stood around the same machine uh, for an hour and did nothing. <laughs> They all just talk to each other. Good use of the money there. So when we demo like cr yeah, see, my I I really like long jackets too, um, and I would love one from Devil May Cry. Oh my god. Uh, but because I'm so tall, everything that's supposed to be long is basically like a normal length freaking jacket for me. So if I want a decent sized, nice long jacket. <laughs> It costs so much money. It's just like, ugh, I can't be bothered. That like I looked up a few um oh wait. Uh few jackets that were kind of past or down to my knees. And it was like three hundred, four hundred dollars. I can't justify that for a jacket. That's insane. I don't think I value fashion that much. <laughs> But this one, this one I have is from, I just got it off eBay. Tempest submachine gun acquired. Hmm, cool. Uh, and I had to go, it's like 6XL or something like that. It's huge. The, the measure, it goes all the way from like extra small all the way to 6XL. I had to buy the longest one. It's only just long enough for like, to like it. For me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you look very badass. <laughs> that just means you have more option and you, you got to find the right jacket. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I think Jack might be getting a very unique sun suntan. Um, after being on this planet. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it though. What brought you this deep into Geth controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. <laughs> Something about the sun is going bad faster than it should. Right, no worries. Okay. Ooh, I think this one gets pretty difficult later on, towards the end. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. Mm. Um, isn't, is this the quarry in Homeworld? I forget. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard, I'm a Marine. They tell me to shoot, I shoot. <laughs>
Okay. Full position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait, watch your ass. We got a drop ship coming in. Well, that's just unfortunate. So hang on, I need to, I need to... Go to the planet Haystrom. Right. Uh, Codex Primary. Before the Geth Revolt 300 years ago, the Quarians colonized Haystrom to study the mysterious instability of its sun, which threatened premature eruption into a red giant. As a scientific outpost of minimal military value, Haystrom was ill-equipped to repel Geth forces during the insurrection and fell quickly under their control. Captured Geth planetary survey data indicates that despite sustaining damage during the war, Haystrom's architecture remains as it was 300 years ago, preserving a Quarian architectural style that no longer exists anywhere else in the galaxy. Hmm. Because Haystrom's sun has overwhelmed the planet's protective magnetosphere, humans foolhardy enough to venture into Geth-controlled Haystrom must exercise extreme caution. Minutes of radiation exposure will overload shields, and hours of exposure will kill. Furthermore, Solar output renders surface to orbit communication nearly impossible. So it's not their home world, it's just like a planet that they had. Oh, there's a sneaky boy. Get out of here. Does Reeve, what does Reeve do against, oh you dipshit. Reeve also does double damage to armor and barriers, but maybe not to... What's it called? Shields. I'll have to give it a try. Trouble incoming. I think the the guests are very difficult to headshot because they're weird looking heads. <laughs> I'm going to say that instead of me being a terrible aim, because it makes me feel better. Oh my god. So it still takes half their shield. That's that's not bad. It's not bad at all. What about what about warp? What does warp do? Hmm. That's not bad. Cripple and organic enemy with pain. Okay. Oh shit, really? It changed our weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> that one's so much better than the one we had before. What the hell? Oh my god. That other one's a piece of shit. Compared to this one. Just to get rid of shields, at least. Like 
<laughs> What'd you miss? Um, not much. Not much. We've just we've found Tally's team, and they're stuck behind a giant pillar. So now we're trying to find some explosives, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, I found out this gun's really good too. Still prefer the pistol though. Nice. Kerboom! Okay, that was kind of different though. We borrowed, oh well, yeah, borrowed through a Prothean ruin with that mining laser. Oh, good grief! What is that? Whoops. Oh, 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 oh it's gonna be one of them ones, one of those big beefy boys. Or uh, triple B's, as I like to call them. And he just wanders towards you and then eventually murders you. Yay. Ugh. That is disgusting coffee. What the hell are you doing? Oh god, I hope so. If not, we're going to be in trouble. It <laughs> just gets melted out there. Oh, but yeah, then we're stuck on the, the permanent sunburn planet. I need to sneeze. Well, that's a cool effect, if a little strange. Please, please don't. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I might hide uh, up here. Oh, I guess what a. It doesn't seem to melt metal, so maybe it would be fine. Because there's still metal and, and like stone structures out here, so maybe it would be okay. Okay, that does that. How much does it do to... Okay. A lot of people were saying that Reeve is just like the best ability you can have. So I'm inclined to believe that after using it. Whee! So <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> Everyone. Maybe, yeah. Oh god, that would be even worse. You, you, you're just in it basically in a tin can at that point roasting alive Oof. where is that geth I can hear him back here no yeah I guess the shields are strong enough I mean Maybe, maybe skin cancer is a thing of the past, so she's got nothing to worry about. But I would be very worried about melanoma. Uh, <laughs> wearing an outfit like that. Which is hopefully one thing I'll never have to worry about, because I hate the sun. I hate the beach, I hate going out in the sun. If I go out in the sun, I'm wearing layers. Like I'm Shrek. Dark mist has layers. And they're all as sensitive as the last. Gosh, 
just get behind there. This is a weird, weird cover. It's not letting me do it properly. This <laughs> is a normal maybe, yeah. <laughs> God. Would he be like an albino in that case? Albino. They're like hypersensitive to the sun, aren't they? Get rid of that flamethrower, thank you very much. Oh my god, that was close. Do we maybe... does it let you take health off non-organics after a while? Damage, multiple targets. Ooh. I did. I did make Shepard quite pasty, but I think being having pasty skin and being al albino or albino, however you say that, is two very different things. This cover. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I can take you. You it took ages for that one to die. Mm. I need to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I felt that one in my brain. Is the theory that someone's like tamp tampered with the stars somehow? Thank you. <laughs> Why would I do? Oh no, that's good. Uh, I might leave them up here Simple enough. and see what I can see from down here. Hello? Anybody here? Perfect. So once we come out of here, they're still up there. So I'll have a bit of extra support, hopefully. Are they staying up there? They are, good. Sometimes they just kind of ignore what I tell them to do. Which, for I mean, obvious reasons, is a little disruptive. And sometimes when they try and get them in the color, they just kind of... You... You know what? I stand corrected. They're idiots. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> it's a... Like, why... It's an odd saying, though, if you think about it. Like, why... Why is the fact of me sneezing uh, counted with bless you? It's it's very... I'm sure there's some very intricate origin to the word. But it's very strange. Is it a holy action? <laughs> Somehow I don't think so. Oh my god. 
So they went from being in a actually pretty decent area to cover me and kill people to it, completely ignoring me and running down here in about three seconds flat. So that's always good. Go away! Nice. There we go. Jesus. Hope you Maybe, yeah. That's, I like the I like the idea of that. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, bless you, and please don't spread the plague anymore. That's that's head cannon now. I like that. <laughs> I did a little bit gross, but I watched a thing on like when Mythbusters was still around. One of the they did a myth on um on sneezing sneezing and like its contagiousness and stuff like that. It's disgusting. People who don't like cover their mouths or you know, sneeze into a handkerchief or their elbow or something. Ugh. Yuck. You're doing damage to everyone around you. <laughs> So gross. <laughs> uh. a, yeah, it's a. I. Oh god, I can imagine. It'd be a very, a very strange thing to be like. What? What? <laughs> what do you want from me? Don't you bless me? I don't give you permission. Get the heck out of here. Oh, friendly fire. <laughs> I guess, yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's, it is a bit cultish. Whee! We good? How many's left? There's one left. The only reason I'm not bringing them back is because uh, I might need the things later on. The medi thingies. Medi gel. We good? Is that everyone? Oops. Hey, hungry, how you doing? It's good to stay hydrated. Uh, coffee counts, right? I don't have any water. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? How you been hungry? It's been a while. I think. <laughs> okay. We're good. Good job guys. I did all that work. You guys got to have a nap through the battle. It works out for everyone. North. Hydration nation. Dehydrated nation for me, I think. Oh. Hi. Creepy. Oh no, they broke in while we were trying to... From before they got their asses kicked? Colony is deep in Geth territory. Why would Quarians come here now? While we were trying to get in with the explosives, they must have broken in and killed all the quarians. <laughs> Ooh, that's I never quite realized that before. Well, aren't you lucky, Tally? I'm right here. 
An extended break from work. Very nice. Six weeks. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your time off. I mean, I have been uh, working, <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Oh no, they're still alive. Okay, cool. I got to the data I needed and I'm safer now, but I've got a lot of get outside. Is anyone else still with you? Or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the get outside. Oh, that's weird. Surprised they've lasted that long, honestly. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer geth shooting at us. <laughs> okay. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Very convenient how a lot of this stuff works sometimes. Okay, sure. We've been spotted. Whoop. Disappeared. Some sort of cloaking field. Thanks, Borden. <laughs> the obvious is a uh, clearly inescapable from your gaze. I would like to use my new super weapon, but I don't want to waste it. <sighs> oh, look at that. You can see the sun burning bits of the rock. Oh, I probably shouldn't admire the scenery while I'm being shot at. I can see you over there. <laughs> See, that's what I've been saying this whole time. Hungry. It's like the life sustaining juice of my being. And I mean, there's water and coffee anyway, it's basically all the same thing. Where did the big boy go? Yeah, there he is. Engaging. It's not extremely accurate, this, uh, <laughs> this submachine gun. Oof. Unfortunately, though, it's just like crappy uh, instant coffee. I don't know what what other places call it. But we just call it instant, and it's disgusting. But my machine is like packed away at the moment. I can't be bothered to get it back out. It makes much, 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 much better coffee. These are the most. Uh, uh, did these are just gonna keep spawning? These are the most annoying little shits. We good? Is that, are they dead yet? They're dropping plenty of ammo though, which is good. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, Jack nearly killed the thing on all by herself. Oh, you square brained, smooth brained dingle. 
Fuck it, I gotta do that all over again now. Oh shit, wait, can we... I need to change my weapon. Was there a weapon station in here? Oh, there wasn't. Was oh, yes, there was. Okay, good. Get some coffee. Yes. Do it. I'm on my third cup of the day. <laughs> Scaffolding all day. Oof. Yeah. Not fun. I think I think doing scaffolding without hardcore drugs is probably a nightmare, right? <laughs> I worked in a scaffolding yard for about six months, um, and I was just lifting up the pieces to pack them away for people to put them together. And I wanted to fucking kill myself. Oh my god, what am I using this for? There he is. I'm, I wonder if we get rid of the big one. I have a bit of better chance. Oh god, excuse me. Trouble incoming. He's still got his shield up. This is not a very powerful weapon. Bank or checking, double checking. Yeah, that does not sound like fun. Oh, is it gone? Am I out of ammo? Fuck it. Oh, I'm glad you got a six week break anyway. Why... Why did you have a, uh, a break off work? That seems like a very long time to take off. And what I mean by that is for them to give you that off. Hope nothing's happened. Sorry, I've really got to concentrate just trying to survive these things long enough. Oh my god. That was amazing. Ran out of work, oh shit. Well, I mean, as long as you had enough to keep you going in the meantime. Break's always good. Ran out of work, holy shit. I guess that's happening more and more, isn't it? like little cockroaches you just won't go away me oh one down next get ready to fight there are so many of them is it this is it the big boy it must be And he just walks away like it was no big deal. That's great. Yeah, didn't even take down his shield. Great. Supposed to rain for the next 10 days. Oh shit. And I guess you can't put up scaffolding in the rain. Makes it too slippery. That's a lot of rain. Holy shit.
incoming. He seems to be good enough to get rid of him. At least they drop ammo. Can you two maybe... Oh, that's in the sun, isn't it? Um, well, I hope... Uh, I hope you... I guess if you want to, <laughs> you're back to... It... Oh, there's so many. This is ridiculous. Okay. I think we have to take out this thing. Build anything? No, God, yeah. I guess, like, I, I never quite realized until I was in the sort of construction industry, I guess, that the weather literally plays God <laughs> when it comes to that sort of thing. Certain types of weather. Like here we have a lot of safety um, things too, so we're like, if, even if it's too hot, so if it's like uh, ab above 40, I think, if it's above 40 degrees, you can't, um, you can't work because it's like you're at risk of severe heat stroke, which is, I mean, fair enough. And then again, if it's, if it rains too windy, can't work above a certain elevation, all that sort of stuff. So it's bit, yeah, if you're working outdoors, then uh, if the weather's not clear, you're not doing nothing. In saying that, though, our um, where did all my ammo go? I'm literally sitting next to it. Um, our our laws are quite strict when it comes to that sort of thing. Safety in general. You nearly killed me. Holy shit, that was close. Oh shit. There we go. Hopefully that stops these little ones. Unless there's something over there that's shooting them out. Can I save? Fuck. Oh shit. That's sort of one reason I wish I wasn't a part of that industry. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I'd rather be part of the industry where I get to sit down and play games all day <laughs> for people to watch. That's the uh, that's the industry I want to be. Oh, there's another one. Good. Is that feels <laughs> that would be a very strange conversation. Oh, that's. Oh, I can't. I can't deal. Oh, I'm stuck again. This fucking game, do not buy the Legendary Edition. Ever. Buy the normal ones. I just got stuck, turned around, and now I have to do that whole thing again. Fuck me. Ugh. It's frustrating enough when I'm being dumb and I get killed. But when it's shit like that. Anyway. Um, yeah, <laughs> fuck's sake. Save right up until I walk through the frickin' door. Ugh. Oh yeah, so I changed how all the avatars worked. Well, sort of. Hungry. So you now have them all. Um, you just have to change them in the um, extension, yeah. There's now like, f it's like 600 of them or something. There's a ton. So you can um, 
sort them out that way. And I, I, I made them all free, or like, so everyone can use them. Uh, because the extensions seem to be getting worse. Uh, not the extension, the typed commands seem to be getting worse. <laughs> like some of the avatars I saw were, had maybe like three or four um, underscores and you had to t type it all in correctly, otherwise you don't get the avatar. So I just left it in a different way. But yeah, your avatar's probably been reset as well. I think the only one that hasn't been reset is mine. But mine now doesn't have a name above it, which... Oh no, there we go. It popped up. That's not what I need to do. I don't want to get too close, but he, they're like one. Oh, for fuck's sake. They're wandering in a weird way. They're not moving towards us, they're kind of just meandering back and forth. Let's see what this does to one of them. Then. Them. I can't speak no more, apparently. Yeah, try and run away from this, you goob. Nice! Um, commands. Yeah, they are. They're... Like, I, I get what... They're there because, I guess, in case you can't use the extension, but it's a nightmare. <laughs> they're just not... They're not very user-friendly at all. Um, so, makes it kind of hard to be like, well, just go ahead and use the extension and then you can get whatever you want. It's like, yeah, well, I'd do that, but I'm going to be here for three hours trying to buy one fucking character. But I think there's like One Piece characters now. There's a ton of Pokemon. What else is there? There's like cats and dragons. There was some Digimon ones there, which I, I really want to get, but I, I um, forgot to download them. Where's the other Prime? I am making this a bit difficult, more difficult on myself though, with um, not bringing like Garrus or someone who can fry shields quickly. But, like, fashion over form. Okay. <laughs> I like Jack and Morden. Oh, don't you dare. We've been spotted. Pokemon Digimon. I still have. Actually, I had one of those. Um, digital pets thing. I had one of them um, for the longest time and then I lost it as well as like a Tamagotchi and they recently started selling new Digimon. My Digimon is now sitting up somewhere behind somewhere. <laughs> it's up there. Um, long dead by now. But I love Digimon. I just I was never really that into it but like I never got to watch a TV show or anything but I had like the Digimon game on PS1 and some other things along the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. That I really, I want to go back and like watch the show. It used to be on um, like morning cartoons. So I got to watch a little bit of it on that. But just the idea of like the little, the little digi digital pets thing was really cool. I'll have to get them back out and change their batteries and things. They're really cool. Finn from Adventure Time. I forgot I put Adventure Time on there. Oh my god. It's like stream clock. Nice! That's so random. I wonder I wonder why it's like that. I think Twitch has some um some UI bugs to to iron out from the sound of it. Yeah, 
They can take care of them. How much ammo has he got? It's just like a constant barrage. A little star here. <laughs> well, it's pretty simple to add new ones, new ones in. Um, so I might have to, I might have to go and check out some more. Get them downloaded. Why did they run away? If he goes back to put his fucking shield back up, I'm gonna have a conniption. Is he retreating? Is that what that is? They don't usually retreat. Ever. <laughs> this game is really tr busting my balls at the moment. There he is. Shit. Advanced tactics. <laughs> well, they are a geth. They're, they're like an AI hive mind, so you would think they would have a pretty decent grasp on good strategy. But you, their usual strategy is to march forward until someone's dead. Either them or me. Usually me. In the meanwhile, these things keep spawning. It's not a very accurate gun. It's good for big targets, but I don't think they're meant for little things. <laughs> How could you not love Jack's sassy attitude? Okay. Crap that ammo. All right, where's the next one? For God's sake. Can... where are you two? Out here, right now. Oh shit. No, not like that, not like that, not like that. It must be a chain gun. Why? What's the? Why do I bother with cover? Honestly. Yeah, I take that back. I take that back completely. The game clearly scales quite well. <laughs> that one. Oh my god, look at the aim on those two. They could hit they could hit anything. And meanwhile, Mr. Spray and Prey over here. was that? He just crashed into me. Lucky that didn't kill me. Is there another prime down there? 
This is ridiculous. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. That's that's how I feel right now with all these drones coming out of nowhere. Can we, you know, maybe pop up over here somewhere? Go on, please. Ah, oh, this cover. Why is it like this? I can't really see the save thing because it's so far down, but I'm covered by a million avatars. <laughs> but I, I saved. We don't have to do the whole thing again. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. I'm not really, I'm, I'm not like the right build for constantly spawning enemies. Uh, everything I own has like no ammo, except for the submachine gun, but I can't hit anything with that. Because I'm stupid. Oh no. I remember this bit. You think? <laughs> That's what. Oof! Alright, I'm sorry. I won't make the joke again. Just don't shoot me. I. I'm gonna see if this kills it. Because if we. If I can kill it in one go, then. It took out its shield. Ugh. Oh, I just wasted- I wasted that. Completely took its shield, and it, now it's repairing itself. That was a complete waste of that bullet. Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. <laughs> this ain't the time to be tricky. Allie's inside over there. Geth killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. I'm yeah, I... It fixes itself. Yep. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. I think that pretty much means he's dead. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination. Oh no, there we go. Swimming in antibiotics. Geth might get me, but I'm not going to die from an infection in the middle of a battle like <laughs> that's insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time. And you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. <laughs> That's how I got shot. Did you say what I think you said? You have me intrigued. Standard protocol with armature class Oh my gosh. My arms are so fucking sore. Ugh. Oh. Fantastic. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, we'll be able to finish well, it off. Well, I'm pretty sure that the cane is like a... It's like a nuke. So I don't think your pissy little rocket launcher is going to do nothing. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. 
I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. I'm holding the gun like this. Jack, do, do you mind, real quick, just getting out of my fucking way? Jesus, how rude. So, what is she doing? Is she trying to get around them, or...? Oh, I mean, she didn't die, so good job, I guess. <laughs> I have to move. Communication. Yes, it really is. I think they're more interested in, in getting themselves killed. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if Subtle is in Jack's uh, repertoire, really. Yeah, I think they're just going to keep spawning, aren't they? Can I get them? If she stays no there, and he stays there, and I'll go up along the sniper tower. That'll keep them busy and, you know, hopefully alive. Good job, Morden. Wrong side of the block of concrete, but good fucking job. Hmm. This may not gonna be working the way I wanted it to. It's okay. Bring him back and I think you just follow me. Come on, come back. Fuck me. Yeah, no, that's not helpful. Really? Guys, I keep paying for this really expensive armor and I feel like it's not doing anything. Right there. Oh shit, that's in the sun, isn't it? Maybe that one will be a bit better. Nope, that's not. She's burned to a quisp there as well. That's good. That's better. Is that another one? I, I think they're going to keep spawning until I make progress. That's fun. Out of here with that following me garbage. Okay, okay. You two can get over here. Ooh, 
That's a good spot for him, isn't it? Ugh. Can't believe I wasted the <laughs> the money shot on getting rid of its shield and then just regen it all. It's just embarrassing. Is there an invisible wall in the way? Or something? Or does this game just hate me? Can I use it with 45? Um Percent? Ammo? No. <laughs> Never mind. My aim is so freaking terrible. Invisible. <laughs> yeah, it really does seem to just be uh, lumping on the extra difficulties. <laughs> Let him do a little dancey dance. Oh, can I save? No, but hopefully that's all of them. I don't want to be jumped. No, there's still some around. I can hear them. Yeah, not to mention that I got t literally spun around and stuck too, so, you know, it's another difficulty thing. Maybe that's what it is, it just unlocks the bugs in the game. I'll admit, it is an extra challenge. <laughs> oh, thank god. Every save is like the... the Life essence. Just let me finish this download. Geth pulse rifle. Nice. Can't use it, but nice. Uh. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this. Oh yeah, we saw her like at the very beginning, didn't um. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. There is still a few armors we can get. I wonder if they're any good, uh, any better compared to what I've got on now. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That hmm. damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. <laughs> Hmm. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. 
And if the admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. <laughs> Just watch the rest of my team and die. Mm. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty board and let him know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Oh my god, so I just looked up like what's going on with the sun because I I don't really recall ever we never really find out exactly what happens with it, I don't think. Um But like look at this look at this gigantic fucking thread on Reddit. It's just, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. Oh, there we go, it stopped. Um, but I'm not reading all that. So, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> so now we have Tally. She's the last one. Oh, well, kind of. Action, We're looking forward to having you on the team. <sighs> Your engineering Excuse me. Will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm here for you. Not Good for enough. You. <laughs> uh. That's all I'm asking, Tally. Just remember, Shepard. Cerberus wasn't our friend when we went up against Saren. I'll be in engineering. It's such like a, a dynamic shift. Introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. <laughs> um, and you don't it's always when the new companions are introduced like Cerberus is evil you can't trust him and then they really they really lay into that on the third one and they're like yeah Cerberus is basically the devil <laughs> congrats oh that was a quick quick fucking change wasn't it so I've got this inferno armor but it looks like shit. I don't like that at all. And we've got the Cerberus armor, which again looks like a dookie. And then we've got this one, which I don't know if I like or not. But then that's it. I think that's all the armors then. Shepard, how can I? Got a minute to talk. Yes, good timing. In fact, excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next we'll have to go and talk to I haven't talked to everyone in a while actually never fast enough usually no result in advance just checking work <laughs> have to be careful getting off track discovery based on protein collector connection can examine technology chart reaper species modification fall of proteins tell me what happened early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured proteins lost intelligence over several cloned generations cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward as proteins failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Right. Does knowing how the proteins fell tell us anything useful about how to stop the collectors? Or the Reapers? Not yet. More useful as motivation. Effects on proteins more than indoctrination, body modification. No self-preservation instinct. Old injuries not healed, no reproduction, just cloning. Technology overriding biology, not augmenting. No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools <laughs> for reapers. Protheans dead, collectors just final insult. Twitch app, oh shit. <laughs> the Twitch app is garbage. <laughs> it's so fucking bad. <laughs> oh my god. See another terrible flirting session? You might be right. We'll go and see her first, then we'll go and talk to Tally on the way. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. 
foresaw necessity of attack mm. on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. <laughs> Won't let you down. Well, I'm glad you committed now. <laughs> Jesus. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. <laughs> Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied Spiturian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Nice. <laughs> what is it about the collector's mind? <laughs> God, don't give me any ideas. They'll, they'll buy a Mass Effect next. But due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Oh my God. Morden is best Disney princess. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> you blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes, like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight, technological advance. Mm. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Solarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. <laughs> Thanks for sharing what you've learned. Okay. He's very conflicted, I think. I mean, clearly. Uh, I guess we'll talk to Jacob while we're up here. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. Hmm. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. <laughs> Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. <laughs> Bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh. Hey, don't bury us too soon. We I that is not the one I picked. It fucking it moved. Ugh. The hell you want, but not with a fake smile on my face. Nothing positive about grinning like an idiot. Don't worry, I'll be ready. But you owe me some decent R and R when we're done. Yeah. Talk to you later, Shepard. I'm with Jacob on that one. I I don't like the idea of faking positivity. I it kind of annoys me when you you like get into a tough situation, whatever that may be, and someone's like, "Think positive." It's like, yeah, okay, that'll fix everything. Like some people have this very aggressive dislike of being negative even when it's completely appropriate and it drives me insane just you put a smile on that face and everything will be better on board commander just like old times right i mean because with the mask it's this one exactly yeah this smile now means i'm cured i assume everything is going well up here fractured my thumb on the mute but i think i made my point okay see you commander seems he has a lot to extra add um I thought he had a bit more more dialogue than that, but I guess not. Um, yeah, it's a pet peeve of mine. P 
people who don't let you show any sort of negative emotion because it's slightly uncomfortable. Anyway, we'll move on from that before I dig too deep into that one. Can I tell me to get in touch with you? I don't remember much of what happened, but the Chief Scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Whalelock camp. Thanks, next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't unless I go into a blood rage or something. I got to go to female camp after I recovered and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I'm going to stay here instead. Okay, so that's the guy we rescued. Uh, per Talizora Vas Nima's request, included with a data delivery from Haystrom. Admiralty board has approved her. Fuck, okay. Okay, so that's basically just like tallies with you now. Have fun. I'm gonna go feed my fish, and then we'll go and talk to Jack. Um, and then we're gonna talk to Tally. Play with our ball. <laughs> just the one. <clears throat> Down here. Oh, we should probably talk to. Thankfully, we don't have to talk to the extra companions because they they don't they don't do anything. After after a while, they just kind of say the same things over and over again. Alright. Hey. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want. Oh no. Okay. So she's stuck on the same. We're at the end of this thing. You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. If you need to think. Okay. We've had this already. Never mind then. So I guess there's like a trigger that'll make that go to the next stage. Cool. Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard. I'm a quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. <coughs> I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. Mm. The collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. Yeah. Like a hot weapon. knife through butter. Spelt B U D D E R. <laughs> butter. Is that palladium? Okay. I think that might be the last one. We'll need them against the collectors. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out gas on Hastrum, did we? No, not really. <laughs> Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. I'm sure it says some like they've said it somewhere, but why are the Quarians so uh like susceptible to disease? What caused that? Was it just because they've been living on on ships for so long, or what? Tell me about the fleet's admiralty board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel, for that matter. Okay. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, 
Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Hmm. Are you sure working? Fuck me! If I had a if I had a buck or a dollar for every time someone asked me that, I would have like ten dollars. I caught some tension back on Freedom's progress, and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Idena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian <laughs> people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I don't like working with them any more than you do, but we need them. I know. Just watch yourself. You're their best weapon right now, but as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. <laughs> <And> now, <laughs> Which is pretty much exactly what happens. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dead Brain, how you doing? Yeah, man. That's exactly what you want at 5 a.m. trying to stay awake. Is the. <laughs> meandering, uh, socio economic political d debates that we get into with all of our, uh, crew members. Speaking of crew members, we've still got Garrus's and Thane's, uh, missions to do, and they probably w they won't really talk to us until we do them. Oh, I meant to talk to Grunt as well. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I can imagine. Have you been up? Like, are you staying up until um any later or are you have you woken up and it seems I was wrong for work or something frankly based on what i've seen i wish cerberus had recruited you earlier you know it i wish your people had made the offer <laughs> i looked at your track record as you hunted saren i saw the choices you faced you'd fit in fine here and we'd be lucky to have you too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. <laughs> what was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I think we established that that was like a rogue Cerberus operation or something. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. <laughs> Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. It's around 12-ish. Hopefully I can pass out. Like 12 at night-ish? Or... 12 in the afternoon because holy shit you're gonna need some caffeine what you disapprove no I'm just impressed you'll well look at you a colony kid growing up in a prefab unit losing even that when the Batarian slavers arrived nice camera angle game nice <laughs> Really get the most out of that skin tight bodysuit. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're you're the best humanity has to offer. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Uh. I got cappuccino. So okay, good. I'm. It's only what? What's that? It's like six hours, seven hours. That's not too bad. I was gonna say if you had to stay up until twelve o'clock 
tonight or tonight for you Oof, be a rough ride um, this is a weird angle isn't it she just stares into our soul and blinks Uh That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Okay. Um Does she have anything else? I haven't talked to anyone for a while. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do. Yeah, no, okay, cool. Of course, Commander. Right, we'll go and talk to Grunt. Who else is on this level? I don't think anyone. Oh, tattoo appointment. Nice. What are you getting? Tally, Jack, Grunt, Zane, Miranda, Garrus. Oh, there's Samara and Thane. I'll talk to Samara while I'm here. Uh... That's exciting. I've been trying to get a fucking tattoos, tattoos appointment actually, but they keep ignoring my emails. So that's not been progressing very much. I'm interested in hearing more about a sorry but yeah, what are you getting, or what are you, what are you planning on getting? Just gonna walk in and be like, hey, give me that on the wall. <laughs> Think you an aquarium leg piece? You have an aquarium leg piece? That's so cool. Freaking love tattoos. But so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There were only a few Justicars. Few as are wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. <laughs> it is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. Fair enough. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. Oh my god. It's the your therapy? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I follow a fair few tattooists on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Sometimes justice uh, calls for mercy. It does not it's very intriguing to me. I've always wanted one, but never been. So expensive. They are, yeah. I think I think there's a bit of an unrealistic um like assumption people make like i know some people here who like i went to school with one while i was in school uh some people got tattoos because you can get them at a certain age with parental consent so they went and got them and one person who i was friends with got like a sleeve like on just this part here and they said it was like 1500 bucks but it looked amazing and then someone else went and got one. Uh, I forget if it was before or after, um, which I didn't really know them that well. And they said they got this one. I felt so bad because they said they got it cheap. It looked fucking awful. And it was, they said it was only about $300, but it was a similar sort of size. All the lines are really rough. It kind of looked like someone's first tattoo. It was, uh, oof. Did we already do this one? Oh, Jesus. What role do you think Justicars have in a sorry society? Don't have many... Oh, yeah, that makes... I think... <laughs> you be, you're definitely better off getting... Uh, um, waiting and maybe going somewhere to get one, because a, a bad tattoo is literally stuck on you for life. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. Just a car is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. <laughs> you make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. 
Tim. Yeah, I think like it, they're they're meant to last forever, right? So you're better off paying the money to make sure that they're going to look good and stay looking good forever, rather than just get like a piece of garbage that looks like crap, and you just. It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. <laughs> Could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly one thousand years old. <laughs> I know myself and my desires, but your curiosity is quite welcome. <laughs> uh, I'd love to see it as well, uh, Dead Brain. If you want to post in Discord. When I was amazing, the galaxy humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. <laughs> I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. That's a very apt description of people, I think. I'm glad we spoke. Three people in a room and there'll be six opinions. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Uh, okay, where... He's over here, I think. Look at him in his snazzy new outfit. Bird not grunt. I like it. Go a couple of them. <laughs> it makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvink, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Hmm. Can you focus that on our real enemy? Or do I have to lock you up for the ship's safety? I get it now. It's part of what I am. I was just delayed because of being tank bred. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard. And we better not run out of targets. <laughs> There's no danger of that. They're practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Good job. Shepherd. Anything in Nothing your else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Just checking in. How you doing? Uh, humans talk too much. Like the That's thing. all for now. Alright then, you grumpy Krogan. Jeez. Uh, right, I guess we're going to see what our next mission is. Maybe get all the companion quests on the way. And then there's Project Overlord, which is supposed to be pretty good. Mm. I wonder if we get any. Let's head to the Shadow Broker's base. If we get some, like, um. bonuses from that. Seems a bit annoying to have to come back and check on that, but like I invested in all those things, so maybe we get some sort of delivery. Maybe. Guess we'll try and do that secure smuggled cargo thing while we're here. Yeah, delivery pickup. Let's see. Hello. Ooh, nice. Shepherd, I'm glad you came. Okay, so that's the end of all of her conversation stuff, I guess. Oh, you can use this over and over again. Oh, that's gonna make it so much easier. This is pretty much all we can get on the ship anyway. And is that it? Just through here. Oh my god, I didn't know this was a thing. Shepherd, glad you stopped by. We don't get many visitors. <laughs> Take it easy. You've been through a lot. You're probably right. I never did say thanks for the rescue. Liara never gave up on you, Farron. I just helped. 
I'm still amazed Liara came for me. I'll never forget what either of you did. I can log that in the archives for you, sir. I see you met the secretary. <laughs> yes, I have. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. You two must have been close. She's a good friend. Better than I deserve. Looks like you've made a friend. The drone follows everyone. <laughs> I don't know why the broker kept it around. I'm a shell for a specialized data processing VI. Custom built to your specification, Shadow Broker. It helps coordinate the network's massive information feeds. But it could use a different interface tone. You deemed my default personality sufficient for your needs, Shadow Broker. I wish it would stop calling me that. <laughs> How do you think Liara's doing as the new Shadow Broker? Operations are almost fully recovered after a slight dip in efficiency. Ever since we repaired the network, Liara's been glued to the archives. <laughs> I caught her sleeping at her desk more than once. She's busy, but I think she likes it that way. How did you and Liara both end up looking for my body? Cerberus headhunted me and Liara to steal your body from the Shadow Broker. I was working for the Broker at the time, and he's the one who scraped up your remains in the first place. Ew. What turned you against the Shadow Broker? He started working for the Collectors. You weren't their first victim. I am... was an information traitor. Not a slaver. How are you holding up, Baron? I'm... I'll be all right. I wasn't always strapped into that interrogation chair. Drell can mentally escape into old memories. It came in handy on the bad days. How many times did the Shadow Broker hook you up to that contraption? A lot. Yeah, it seems a bit of a personal question. Hey, how much were you tortured? I want gory details, buddy. Do now that you're a free man. I want to help Liara rebuild this place. But after that... Your schedule's getting full, sir. Let me sync into your Omni tool. No thanks, I'm fine. Hmm. Take it easy, Baron. Thanks. Ooh. What is this console do? This is the video surveillance access point. I've queued up the archive footage you requested on your last visit, Shadow Broker. Aria Talok, Omega. Oh. Okay. Emily Wong. Isn't she the newscaster that we punched? <laughs> nice moves. Fred Mazai, Citadel. Donnell Udina, Citadel. Okay. I don't know who that is. David Anderson, Citadel. Meeting with Cerberus, A. Eh? Praetor Gavon, Omega. I oh, know she's the newscaster. Oh no, someone else knocked her out as well. Alright, no worries, cool. Oof. It's just chilling. Uh, hmm. How many of them? How many of these are there? Oh. Oh my god, that's brutal! Oh. 
What the fuck? Jacob Taylor, Normandy, SR2. What the hell? They have footage of our thing? Ship? Subject zero. Purgatory. Ship now defunct. That's a cool move. Okay, and that's all. Jesus. Check for more videos on your next visit. Okay. So they're just like little tidbits, I guess. That's cool. Um, I suppose that's probably about it. Oh, there we go. We can... Just call me Ring Pirates. Yeah, cool. So can we just keep doing these as we go? Uh, so yeah, we'll have to come back here and check on them every so often just to make sure that we're getting a decent use out of them. And then that's advanced training. We don't need that. Um, Alright, uh, I'm just going to duck to the bathroom and then after we'll do some of the extra missions. Then we'll head to the Citadel and do those missions. Companion missions, because I've been leaving them for probably too long. So I'll be back in a bit.
going on with my fucking hair. Hello, I'm back. Obviously. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. What the fuck? That's spooky. Okay, I don't know. This one's completely. F there's like three or four big mechs, so I don't know how this is going to go. It, what you get depends on how many containers you save. That's why I left it for so long. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, now, who do I need to bring? I do, I want to like keep most of this stuff. She, oh, she has overload. So does he. She doesn't. She doesn't. What do you got? Shadow Strike Overload and Flashbang. Fortification. Warp Slam. Miranda might be the best one, maybe. Mm, okay. We'll take we'll take Garrus and Morden. That should be enough. Oh, Probably should change their weapons. Oh uh, well, that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> oh, good. I freaking hate these things. Uh, very effective against shields. Perfect. Someone against shields and bike barriers. Yeah, yeah, that can stay. That can stay. That can stay. All right. Didn't really change anything anyway. Just wow. Get in cover. You got my play. You know what? I couldn't give two shits about these crates anymore. We're just going to kill them normally, and if we get stuff, we get stuff. If we don't, I don't give a shit. Excuse me. Ouch. Why does he keep doing that? Like, that's basically all we're doing. Get back in cover. Yeah. 
Get in cover! Jesus Christ. I can basically do anything because they just target me uh, regardless. Thanks, Warden. Do you want to maybe do what I told you to do or no? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> nice. Can't have, can't have me bothered to save it there, kid. Uh, nope. And you don't get really get uh, explosives or anything. You get there's a flashbang grenade which you can use, or like a cryo grenade. Both are really shit because they don't really go where you want them to. It's very, they're very awkward to use. Um, these things can't be controlled because they're too strong. There is like a, I think Tally might have it, drone control, or like reprogram or something. Wow, I didn't even have a chance there. Um, but because we're on such a high difficulty, they just have so much fucking health and do so much damage. Hmm. What is that? Is that Singularity? I'm not quite sure why he does that, but... Thanks, Garrus. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fucking common in these ones. Uh, in, like, a lot of these RPGs, too. Because they know if you control one, you basically just won that little encounter. Can I use this at all? It's probably... And there's not really much else I can do to change how this goes. I've bought every freaking upgrade for everyone that comes across. Not and like we haven't been using Garrus, but I'm still bought all of these upgrades. Just pissing through meta gel. What? Mm. Here's an idea, kind of radical, I know, 
Maybe get behind fucking cover? <laughs> Ugh. Let's try someone else. Uh, maybe Grunt and Samar. Reap heavy through heavy pull, no. Let's try her. Otherwise known as Miranda. Now like those will do. I'm gonna change that to that. That's fine. I think Grunt has like fire ammo. Yeah. Oh, incendiary ammo. Same difference. That should help a little bit. This brief massive boost, sure. Nothing can hurt me. <laughs> and one another thing I have to be super careful about is if you shoot these things in the head too many times, they go off like a nuke and will kill everything. It's brutal. No, not really, but their armor is, for some reason. Uh, you know, it makes a ton of sense. <laughs> Am I going to have to adjust her loadout every fucking hour? Is there a better, is there a better position for me to be in? Oh, good, yeah, good shot, Grunt. <laughs> right into the rocks. It's just where I wanted to, wanted it to go. Down you go. Oh, I can't take cover there for some reason. Okay, that one's down. Good fucking grief. Like, I can't really escape from this situation either. That's fun in every game. Yeah, I didn't realize, I didn't even think that was a thing. Like, I've played this a million times, but apparently if you headshot them enough, it does, it does, like, a catastrophic overload. I, I cannot... 
I don't know where else to- where else can I go? They just march through everything I've got and my- maybe if I switch to something else? But these are all- they're not really that useful, uh, just because everything's so tough. I guess we'll switch to the missile launcher. Ah, oh, good. Nothing here. <laughs> Camo? No, I don't think there is camo in this one. One of the characters has like a, a... You use it and you like teleport behind them, but that's about it, I think. The enemies have camo, <laughs> of course. Okay, one down. Right. Understood. Affirmative. Nothing can hurt me. Move, Grunt. Where are those rockets going? What? Did you see that? <laughs> they went straight past. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck this mission. This is not happening. I don't give two shits about this at all. Fuck this. This is ridiculous. Did go distract them? No. I thought I thought Grunt had like a what do you call it? Like a taunt ability, but that might be in the f in uh, from Rex in the first one. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I saw that. Um. They don't really. Unfortunately, I would love if we could sneak past them or distract them somehow. But like, on they're not that big of a deal on the lower difficulties. They're not really. They're tough, but not like that. Not like that at all. So I don't even know if we're, that's, that mission is worth us doing at all, just because... <laughs> All the crates are going to be broken, so I don't even know if we're going to get a reward from it. That's why I left it, because I thought, okay, we'll, we'll toughen up, come back with better weapons and whatnot, and then do that. But clearly that ain't going to work. Ugh. Oh, okay, we'll take, we'll take both these, both these boys. Uh... One of you go oh they've both got sniper rifles. Nice. And I'll just keep all that. I forgot Shet Thane had a Okay. since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. <laughs> After the Geth attack, there was a review of security for Oh my god. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? <laughs> Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. Well, that was useful. 
You think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy? I know C Sec too well to believe that's true. <laughs> I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here 10 years ago. <laughs> well. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. <laughs> I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drill here. There we go. One of my men reported a drill recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Hmm. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty <laughs> Wow. <Commander. laughs> Laugh it up, Garrus. <laughs> but you know, it crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. I may have told someone that in the first game. <laughs> Duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Jesus. Just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived. Jesus. In the ducts anymore. That's fucking Even disgusting. The ones are the luckier ones. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI. <laughs> and talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes. I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked to Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. I also didn't tell him what you do for a living. Do you normally discuss assassinations with the police? <laughs> I take your point. Yeah. Thank you, Shepard. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some... Let's see if there's anything else that I can buy while we're here. I think... Do they refresh every so often? Welcome back. Oh, shit. <gasps> More fish. Another ship. Apex Omni tools. Oh, I got a model of Sovereign. Cool. Oh my god. Is this What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. I, I don't think we've been here before. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry like CSEC can walk out with them. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. 
Okay. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. Cool. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Is it niche or niche? I always I say niche. Because there's not a T in it. <laughs> Submachine gun damage, that could be a good one, I guess. That's so much. It's 50,000 big ones. I guess we'll buy the cheap ones and see what's left over. <laughs> So I get both of them now. I'm poor again. Great. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun. I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. No. Nope. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse. What are you? Oh shit. Krios. I thought you were <laughs> tired. Commander Shepard. I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> what he, <laughs> he didn't. If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything, yet they are never seen. You gave another drill instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? We don't have time for this. Oh, God, the thing. Help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I care for him. I thought you'd want me to. Please. Explain. He came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Rios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry I hit you. We got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up in Versailles. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shanakiba. It's seriously bad news. Oh no! I wanted the fucking the VI. God damn it, I'm literally gonna. Don't care. Don't care. There we go. Hope oh, that wasn't a mistake. I'd say it'll just bring me back to the start of the Citadel. Um, which is fine. Browse the rip. Oh, perfect. Yeah, sure. Are you mouse? What do you be still, mouse? Well, he was a contact on the citadel when I was at you gave another drone. I don't know. I didn't ask. As the people I... We don't have time for this. Explain. I put the word out. One other thing. That Shepherd VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard look, 
you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Huh. <laughs> Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole just so you know, there's three Vos who are patching it all the time. <laughs> The shoving. Yeah, it's a little. You don't usually see him get physically aggressive unless someone's like trying to kill us. Usually he's a bit more like psychologically abusive rather than physically. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shanakiba. Seriously bad news. I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Just go away, man. Mouse. Hmm. I'm sorry too. Just go. And I apologize, so it's all better now. <laughs> that couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Cole yet ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. Oof. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Cole yet. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm. Smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him. That anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. Is he? Yeah. And a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the way. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there, buddy. Um. Oh my god, here she is again. Can I talk to her again? No? Understandable. Uh. Right, so. Where else. Or what else was I supposed to do? Um, eye for an eye. Find Fade. Neon markets in the Zakira ward. Okay. The worst thing about oh, hang on. We've got. There was that quest on Omega in here. Hmm. Supposed to look for a package or something. Hey man, <laughs> he's uh, he's been in the bathroom a long time. He was in there when we came in the first time. Maybe it's not here. It's not really. I don't really care that much. We can't find it. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Uh seasick office. Is that the one? Shipping warehouse, maybe? Let's check the shops real quick. Oh, oh my god, that's one we probably really need, that's 75 big ones. Alright, let's see if this is where I'm supposed to go. This looks like the I just talked to him on the wards market, he sent me here, come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? <laughs> This looks wholesome. <laughs> Faith, you're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. Every volus sounds the same. They all have the same voice. Is that on purse? 
been on purpose? I'd see you make someone reappear. Uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. <laughs> Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lumbering mountains. Too slow. Why do I even bother? <laughs> we need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Tarkin thinks they're protecting him. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? Do they use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel? Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, not really. He got fired from a CSEC a while ago, <laughs> but he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it Did we... we still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing Harkin again. I'm sure he'll be excited to see both of us. <laughs> we'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Yeah. <laughs> Sure, but if we don't find Arkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. <laughs> I like to think I'd be that uh, sarcastic in that situation. Two people point a gun at me, and all I can do is. Wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. Been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years. Not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. Well. Factory district. Alright. Guess we're doing Garrus's first. Well, we'll bring Thane. We'll get, give Ch Thane a chance to stretch his legs a bit. Since he's been cooped up in the reactor chamber. Or whatever it crew quarters. They're all that easy. What the hell? It's supposed to go flying instead of not. Oh shit. Combat systems engaged. 
Oh, he has warp. He's a biotic. Okay. Why? Well, I guess I didn't realize that. Oops. So I should get health back whenever I do that now. Cool. Do you guys want to maybe come over here? Or are you good? What are you doing there? One ball. One ball. <sighs> cool. I like that. I don't really remember much about this mission, uh, specifically how long this is. Um, so far they haven't been too, too bad. Ew. He does seem like the kind of guy to have a smell though. That's... <laughs> A bit of advice I can offer if you ever come to Australia. Don't go into a game shop if you value fresh air. Ugh. Fire in the hole. They all stink. It's disgusting. No? That works a lot better in the third one. Yeah. Not what I wanted, but sure. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Oh, I don't even... The cover was right there and there wasn't enough time to go from... Like, basically just turn around before I got owned. Stay off. It's just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you can stomach it, yeah. <laughs> it's nasty. I think it's mostly to do with the fact that every single one of our game shops have carpet in them. And that's that's just nasty. The ironic thing is that a lot of our, so the one, pretty much the only one we have here is called, uh, you son of a bitch. Is it never clear? I, I don't know. I really don't. But I think the people who work there probably are just used to it, but it's so bad. It's really disgusting. But a lot of our, uh, getting cover. What the fuck is wrong with you? Our, well, those game shops sell, like, 
merch as well, and one of the things they sell is candles. Uh, you would think they would have the presence of mind to maybe burn a few, but apparently not. I, I went to a shopping center with someone once, and uh, I sort of walked towards, well, we walked past the store, <laughs> and were like, can you smell that? We didn't even have to go in, it was like radiating out of the store. Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about it now because it will make me sick. Ugh. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. <laughs> didn't ever go back there. Ugh. I need my more ammo. That's what I need. Oh my god. Those of gamers in candlelight, yeah. Yeah, you, know, you need some like nice smelling ones to really uh, make the the uh, what do you call it the ambiance more intense. It's just what you want when you play modern warfare or whatever, whatever shooter is like the main one at the moment. Stop getting out of the cover. Fuck. <laughs> Finally! Jeez. Have an LED candle, cool. I I see them a lot um, that you can like hook up to your if you have a Google Home or some sort of smart um, thing, you can hook them up and make them rotate their, their colors and things. They're pretty cool. I was like, really? I thought they were a little bit better than that. Really realistic. I think you probably have to get like one of those super expensive lifelike ones. Which sort of defeats the purpose, I think. You might as well go and buy some actual candles. Because some, some act proper candles will last like a thousand hours if you burn them properly. Which... I didn't really know it was a thing. You have to burn can ca candles. After burn candles, you have to burn them properly. Like if you just burn them willy nilly, you can like cut their life in like the how long they'll burn for in like half, which is a lot, especially when some candles are like thirty bucks a pop. That's a lot. That's a lot for some nice smelling wax. <laughs> Good job, Garrus. Good job. Though I am partial to a nice smelling candle, there is a limit to how much I'll pay. Oh my god! Where's this gonna restart me? Fantastic. Did I pick- I don't think I picked up any ammo that entire time, either. That's true, yeah, you could leave it on after you've <laughs> you've left and it doesn't burn the house down. <laughs> Although I, I guess unless the, the cord short circuits or something. Oh, can't save. Did anyone drop ammo from that? Of course not. There you go. 
You did it. Good job. Have a timer built in. That's a pretty decent amount of time. Is it like rechargeable or do you have to keep buying batteries for it? A rechargeable candle. What a world we live in <laughs> where I can say those words and actually mean it. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of stuff you have to constantly buy new batteries for anymore. It's got to, it's got to come with a cord to recharge or I'm not interested. Good, both dead. Fantastic. This should slow him down. Oh my god. Oh, you can use, yeah, cool. I still have a whole bunch of those, like, rechargeable batteries hanging around. They're super useful. If you, if you put together how much money you actually spend on batteries, like, if you're buying packet after packet, excuse me, it's, it's insane. Like, just for, because I use a controller all the time, if I was buying batteries every time it ran out of charge oh my god it, just this just playing games normally would have cost me an absolute fortune and they, you know they all end up just in the landfill which can't be good turn this down very quickly is it maybe the type of battery you're using um might be like because I know certain type of batteries can have trouble powering certain things, which is a little, it's very strange. I, oh god, if your phone, you need... Yeah, they're already ripping us off enough <laughs> for our phones, we don't need another reason. Don't give them any ideas. Still no ammo? No, good. Uh, Maybe we'll get enough money from this mission to go and buy that upgrade. That'd be nice. Save? I st it's still not letting me save, so if I die, it's taking us all the way back to the beginning. <sighs> I don't like that. Mm -mm. Don't like that at all. At least I got some ammo, I guess. Yeah, I know. It's too much pressure. I can't deal with this. Shit. 
Okay. Heavy mech overhead. Watch out. Oh god, not a heavy mech. Did he shoot through that box? Crate. Whatever. Well, this is just fantastic. Fuck off. Uh, this takes me back. Oh, okay, good. It took me back to the bridge. Maybe I'll swap this to... No. Yeah. I'm going to have to run all the way back here just to make sure that it doesn't kill me. Go away. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of just like bully them once they're down to just the normal health. Nice. Best try. <laughs> Twelve hundred bucks, that's not enough. Oh gross. What the hell is walking up to? Give me a second.
<laughs> exactly, the first proper try. The, the, <laughs> the one that actually counts. The rest were just pa practice, like warm-ups. So I was allowed to, to throw them. <clears throat> so, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. Yeah, he was a piece of shit in the first game, I think. <laughs> I think Garrus is getting a little revenge blind, <laughs> which is totally fine by me. Hey, I get it. Uh, I wish there was a way you could just skip these. Maybe once you finish the game you get um, some way to skip them. Nice shot. He can hit me from up there. Only just, but it's enough to stop. Get my health to stop regening. Well, there's actually like New Game Plus stuff for this. You. Once you finish, you can carry it over to the next game. And like you start with all your money, all your XP. You get to like keep an ability that you unlocked in the previous playthrough. So you can like unlock everything if you missed something along the way. Guys, trust me, I've done it plenty of times. I, I, I think I've new game plus 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 this thing. <laughs> uh, shit. Um. Although I wonder if it's any different in this version. Something tells me they probably just made it worse. <laughs> I'm replaying. Uh. Probably not on stream, but maybe, maybe on like on my own after after a little while. Depends how I feel at the end of this, really. <laughs> but we'll be moving on to the third one once this one's finished. Can they take care of them, or am I gonna have to help? No, I think they're good. Yeah, it's a very very freaking long game but once you sort of get into the rhythm of it, it, it you can end up you can get through this one fairly quickly uh, but yeah I wouldn't put I wouldn't put you through this again at least not yet <laughs> when they come out with the Mass Effect remastered remastered edition then maybe Where, is there one still? Oh, hello. Sneaking down there. Why not? It's probably a good idea. Band eight, number eight. Oh my god, how when did Resident Evil 8 come out? That was a fair while ago, wasn't it? Eight was the one no one liked. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't the one people wait, I'm hang on, I just want to check if I'm thinking about 
Where's my phone? That the same one. Because they're, they're on like a... They are remastering every single one of those ones, aren't they? Resident Evil 8. Oh, is... 8 is the village. Wait a second. So... Oh, you know what? I was thinking of Resident Evil 6. <laughs> Wrong one. That was the one no one liked. Anyway. But they want to remaster... Uh, anyway. Maybe. Well, I mean, I never played any of the original Resident Evils except for... Ah, uh, even then, I didn't, I didn't play that until I was on the stream. Um... And they're really good games, I really enjoy them. They're a little frustrating at times, but... Oh my god! I'm missing a literal percent <laughs> of, uh... Of my super weapon. But I'm, I'm glad they're being remastered because they look amazing. That's like what a pro that's what a remaster should be, I think. You should be taking the game and like actually elevating it to a next gen level. You shouldn't be doing, which is why I'm not really I don't really like this uh, legendary edition because it's not like a legendary edition. It's we made things slightly prettier and included more bugs. You're welcome. <laughs> That's all this is. But the way the remasters for Resident Evil work, they're amazing. Oops. Oh, I did not mean to click twice. Jesus. And that's how it should be done. I mean, they take ages, but hey, you get a really good game out of it. And honestly, they're not really that expensive. They're pretty dear, but they come on sale so quickly. So you follow the mistakes. Yeah, that started to get very annoying. That was probably the one thing that I didn't like about that game. Was after a while, Mr. X went from like a genuine threat to just being like a one-shot kill um, annoyance, essentially. Which made it super frustrating. Because, I mean, there's a certain point where you can kill him, I think. You get enough weapons to, like, put him down for a bit. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit... I think you can properly kill him if you play the game again. Like, in New Game Plus. But I'm not going to play that. I wouldn't play that twice in a row. Fuck that. Was, was that two or three? Or was that one? I have, I have a couple. I've forgot, I've even forgotten which ones, which one that was. Why do I fucking bother? Yeah, see this thing, see when he like glides in the cover like that? That, I don't remember that happening in the, the other versions. Can he get up here? Fuck, I hope not. Guy in the girl. Yeah, um. What's his name? I'm gonna have to look it up, otherwise, it's gonna annoy me all night. Remaster. Remake 2020. Oh! 
Oh, they haven't, of course. So they haven't made, remade the first one because the first one is when they're in like a creepy mansion. That's the whole thing. I think that got remade like uh, a little while ago. But I think the one, the remake we played was two and then they released number three. It was, yeah. Resident Evil 2 was the first one we played and then Resident Evil 3 was the, the other one. And 2 was one with... Um, fuck, what's his name? I know the, the girl's name was Claire. Leon! It's Leon. <laughs> and in the second one it was, I'm not sure, who the police lady. But you run through the same area. There we go. I'm sort of safe up here, I think. Sort of. What the hell? I just staggered out of cover for no reason. Oh. Okay. It, yeah, that was pretty much the entire. Because you would like. In I think in that it ended up being easier or quicker for us to just tank some damage, and like run through the zombies instead of actually killing them because we were just I, there was just no ammo to deal with them. And they kept coming back. Oh god, I remember shooting them in the head like a million times. And the only way that they would stay dead is if their head like exploded from the shot. Wasted so much ammo doing that. Oh good grief, did they drop any ammo? No. And I think after that, if uh, there's any like... Uh, ill effect, side effects from those herbs, Leon and Claire would have had it. Because I was chomping those down like no tomorrow. I couldn't even, like, I, I don't mind the challenge. But I, there's no way I could play that g those games on on like the higher difficulties. That's just sadistic. Those are, they, that that takes like difficulty just to a new meaning. You're running around with like five bullets for the entire game, basically, and you, each bullet. I've watched people play the boss fights of that game on on the higher difficulties. Each bullet has to count, or you, that's you don't you don't you don't progress. It's just like it it's sadistic. Or masochistic. Masochistic's the one where you do it to yourself. Yeah. It's brutal. So mad respect for anyone who can do that. <laughs> you were close, but not close enough. You were saying? So fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. <laughs> <laughs> that had to hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want to know. Maybe. I still haven't heard what you want. You helped a friend of mine disappear. 
I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <laughs> Oof. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. <laughs> all right, all right. Get off me! Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Seems simple. <laughs> nice cheeks, Shepard. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. Maybe give CC the blood trail to follow. Bastard! Oof. You're getting off easy, Hargan. What I ever do to you? <laughs> Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Garrus is. Uh... <laughs> In interrogation technique is to beat the ever living shit out of them until they're coughing up enough blood to get the answer through. <laughs> we shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Hark. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I won't mention it again. I appreciate that. <laughs> I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. Okay. Ugh. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. I really think we should be in like civilian clothes for this too. If someone, if someone, you arranged a meeting with someone and they showed up in full battle armor, a little bit sus. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. And a portable nuke cannon on my back as well. <laughs> <sighs> there he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Oh my god. How could you not see Garrus in the back there? Let's get this over with. <laughs> yeah, basically. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid, Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Jesus. <sighs> New outfit. Lovely.
So who else do we need? Do we need to do Thanes now? And to find wherever his kid is. Uh, yes. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse. Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum. Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. <laughs> Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, <laughs> I ignore him. <laughs> Since, yeah, no, Garrus goes from like, uh, I guess in the first one, he's kind of just like a cop that's kind of frustrated with how things work. And he goes into pretty much a, like a mercenary more than anything into the, in the second and third one. get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Tell Bailey we're ready. <laughs> He'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. The captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. <laughs> I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together keep the pressure on thoughts on how we approach it um i plan to improvise no plan survives contact with the enemy anyway <laughs> I, suppose that's true. I won't interfere then this will be difficult if we're too gentle with him his advocate will get past bailey if we're too rough well we need him alive one way or the other he'll tell us what we need to know I wish I felt your confidence. Get me out of these restraints, Bailey. It's pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Oh. You ordered a hit on someone. You're going to tell me who. The only person I'm talking to is my advocate. Here's how it works. I ask a question, you answer the question. You speak when you're spoken to. Who the fuck you Mr. think Kellum, you Mr. I don't believe you were paying attention. Nice. You just handed me your job. Hit me again and I'll take your money too. <laughs> I'm going to straighten you out. As soon as Bailey gets here. Just tell us what we need to know. My associate isn't very patient. What are you, fraud boy? Oh. A little apologist. Hit me again, asshole. Every punch is not for me. No. Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah. patient. Give me a name, or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. <laughs> Joram! <laughs> Joram Talit! Dorian in the 800 box! He's unconscious. No need to wake him up, I think. I'm not shedding any tears. Not over the likes of him. I'd hope to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Pure results come from pure methods. I worry about what is yet to come. <laughs> I guess having your testicles sold is enough of a threat to talk. It's friendly chit chat, yeah, as usual, so far. Yeah, you might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. The thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. 
Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? <laughs> Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months. C-Sec filled with humans. Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. I don't give a damn what Jorah's politics are. This is about Thane's son, not him. You might not care, but the people who live here do. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. I mean, so surprising. Everyone's a filthy racist. <laughs> it's just, it's uh, not surprising at all. Follows the lead of the maintenance cat box. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Is he gonna do the Batman thing? Kira, Lord of Hunters, grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Cool. <laughs> it's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on. Show the humans they won't get their way. <laughs> Thanks. Just remember, it's not all about the human. They couldn't have gained this much power without the council's support. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. <laughs> I'm following. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Oh good. We're gonna be hearing that a lot, aren't we? Hard candy? No, I can't say I've heard of that one. Let me look that up. Hard candy. Interesting title. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sarah, sweetie. How you doing? Long time no see. How you been? Oh, oh, oh. How do I get over there? Oh, he's just went into a shop. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Thanks for asking. In hospital? Oh no! Are you okay? Um... I don't think I have to do anything, do I? I hope, for, I hope it was nothing serious. And yeah, that movie, Hard Candy, looks uh, interesting. Kind of. Might have to check it out, see if it's on Netflix or something. Oh, what's going on here? I surgery in a kidney, oh my god. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Are you still, like, recovering or been given the all clear? I don't, i um, be honest, I don't really know uh, how surgery works. Thankfully, I never had to have it. Stay close, Shepard. I'm trying, jeez. Get off my back, Thane. Oh my god, look at those moves. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, I'll put on the list. Uh, oh shit. Where is he now? I don't have a good angle. What's he doing? One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. No problem so far. In home and you're still alive. Well, that's it. That's two, two, two very good things. I'm very glad. <laughs> What's his status? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe 
he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There Hope you didn't see him. They'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, Jesus. No sign of trouble. No, they're just kind of standing there. There is no way one bullet would take out a Krogan. Oh no, he's still good. Csec, put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. Oh, I didn't want to. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I will. Oh, well. Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Oh, yet I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. <laughs> this isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Koliat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. <laughs> and now they kiss. You're doing him a favor, Bailey. Thanks. Yeah, well, send me a Christmas card or something. I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. Thanks. Lovely. So... New outfit. Ooh. North. Easy peasy. Oh. And then I think we're pretty much done on the Citadel. I think that's it for us here until... Maybe later? I'm not sure. Kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Hmm. Bad people make a lot of enemies. It could have been anyone. No, it had to be one hell of an assassin. The best, maybe. <laughs> Something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. <laughs> that 
that kid goes through the system, we both know he's there for the rest of his life. Those guys were a waste of skin. Scales. Whatever. <laughs> if you've got another suggestion, I'm listening. Give him a job. He can work off his debt to society, and you can keep an eye on him. It sounds like more work for me, and I can't just deputize him into CSEC. You have to go through channels. I didn't say have him work for CSEC. I said have him work for you. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Okay. I don't know how that would work, but sure. All right. Let's get to chuff out. Uh, how much money have I got? Not quite enough. We will have to come back and grab the some of the stuff that I couldn't buy because it's so freaking expensive. But we're pretty much done with the missions here, I think. Um, I guess what's the the only other mission is to go and Tally has a personal matter. She wants to. Okay. <laughs> uh. So, so there's a few things I can do. I do want to do the... Oh, mm, there's a few missions I might do off stream uh, because they're really tedious and boring. <clears throat> like the, the, the vehicle one and the um, that package one. I might do them. I'll find some time to do them at some point. Because I think they're going to take me hours. <laughs> Just because of the shitty checkpoints. <clears throat> Shepherd, I'm glad yeah, my favourite part of this. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. <laughs> they don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy. Yeah, we got the letter. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think treason is something you tend to remember. What happens when a quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Oh, that's an odd system. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. Oh, Jesus. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. <laughs> I know this is important to you, Tally, but stop I understand. We're probably not coming back from this mission. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location, just in case you change it. Sorry, I meant that we can have... Ugh. 
Where's the last load? That makes me feel bad. Uh, didn't mean to phrase it like that. <laughs> Shepard, I'm, I'm, but they, I have no idea what the punishment for treason. So you have no I idea. I won't know it. If it's deemed only must. I don't know. The versions I've played before this, apparently they've changed. Oh my god, you can't even see the fucking wheel because of all the avatars. Um, they've changed the way she looks, apparently. So I guess there's some, some point. I think you have to have like a romance thing with her. And even then, I don't think you get to see her until the third one, maybe? I'm not really... I'm not really sure. I don't think I've romanced her in this one and the third one. I've romanced her in this one. But I've not re I've played the third one twice. <sighs> Maybe one and a half times. Was she convicted? She was pardoned posthumously. Okay. Let's go. I was going to book passage on another ship. <laughs> I didn't think there would be time for you to help. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. Um the admirals will be waiting for us. What she's got I think she's got like bluish skin. I've seen a lot of oh not a lot, but I've seen fan art of her. But I don't know if that's canon. Uh or if that's just what people think she looks like. They're both in there. I don't know. Cassid <laughs> Um I would like to see what she looks like properly, but I kind of don't want to spoil it for myself. I'd like to see if it pops up naturally. Because, like, if they take their helmets off, they, they leave themselves open to germs and they get infected really easily. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. Mm -hmm. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us. I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than collectors or reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. Of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Imagination. Yeah, that's true. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth and saved the This time we've got Miranda yeah. and Cerberus. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it, I think. Up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. <laughs> uh, the one scene I remember from this game is you... When you have, like, the romance scene she drops her mask onto the bed and you don't actually get to see her face so i think it probably is just left up to your imagination but like i said maybe in the third one it's different honestly gareth what do you think our chances are honestly, so much potential in the third one the collectors killed you once and all they did is piss you off i can't imagine they'll stop you this time an unmanned mm. area advanced technology and the collectors we're going to lose people no way around that not a happy analysis i know don't worry i won't spread it around <laughs> do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. <laughs> when a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Fair enough. How do Turian crews get ready for high risk missions? With violence, usually. <laughs> Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. 
nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. Okay. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -to -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarter, so I had reach. She had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. <coughs> uh, a, a real subtle way to work in the fact that you uh, got some. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that. It's very funny. Well, now I know Garrus is boned. You know what? I think that might be that conversation there might be if you play a uh, Famshep. I think that's when you get to make your moves on Garrus. Commander. Oh. Of course, Commander. Commander. You what? have a minute, Miranda. There's a lot to do, Shep. Yeah. Of course, Commander. I do remember them being a lot more chatty. Uh, who else? Who was mission did we just do? Thanes as well. I keep forgetting Thane. I feel kind of bad about that. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. <laughs> You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom painted armor makes them professionals. The hell good thing. It's a good point. I don't know. Oh my god. Six years old. I think maybe next time I'll have next time I do a full playthrough I'll have to see what's different. I kinda of wanted to see what's different between this one and the last ones. So far, not much. So maybe it would have been better. That's okay. I was an investment. Oof. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They value me, yes, <laughs> as a resource, but also as a person. They regret it for me. The Hanar, hmm. excessively polite, worship the Protheans. They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water or fire a gun? Oh, no. <laughs> I imagine that would be hilarious. The agreement was made under the compact. It was an honor for our family. The compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. <sighs> our lives. That is the compact. What exactly are the terms of the compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. Well, I'm not going to insult the species that saved him. Going <laughs> Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. Jesus. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakona died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Jesus. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> mm. I know a lot of people play uh, female characters in MMOs for that reason. My apologies. Drill slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. <laughs> so many of your companions are very, like, politely, uh, very good at asking you politely to piss off. <laughs> because, you know, you've started to talk about something that's a bit uncomfortable. So they do that quite well, I think. 
I don't think we need to talk to anyone else. I mean, go and do Tally's mission, maybe. Reason. Yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. Like, I remember I watched a review on uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, and one of the reviewers in that was like... <laughs> it, the specific reason was because the uh, on this reviewer's, like, $10,000 rig, um, that the female character's butts looked nice <laughs> and that was the whole reason which you know each of their own i guess each their own oh she's got like a stealth suit i quite like the purple though so we've everyone's nearly loyal very very nearly why are we going back onto the citadel Nice. I wanted to get out of here. <laughs> Did I press it without even realizing it? Oh, I did. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, t -t 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 Project Overlord, Firewalk, Help Tally, Valhallen Threshold. There is the destroy the blood pack base. Maybe we can do that after. Where's I cannot even see where the planet is because of the fucking dialogue box. See, I like I like to be able to um, in games where you can character make your own character. It's a lot easier for me because I play them for the story. I like to try and imagine myself as the main character. Which a lot of games usually allow because they don't have voices. I find if I if I, there's a character's voice that I can't stand, it's very hard to get involved. Um, but I find it really hard, of, clearly, I'm, to play like a female character and get super immersed. Because usually, especially in some older games, it, whether you it doesn't you don't really get it as much now. But in some older games, being male or female can like determine different story things or like the way some people react to you um that's usually in fairly old ones though um she's a shotgun yeah i'll do I like the old fallouts and um i think Baldur's gate too and one but yeah, I like to be immersed. <laughs> After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. <laughs> Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior dock. How rude. I really like the idea of the flotilla. In the third game, there's like a really awesome shot of the flotilla um, in like a cinematic cutscene. Can't wait for that. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. <laughs> I never actually reached the rank of captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of Normandy, responsible for the lives of Orton. That entitles you to respect among our people. There you go. May you stand between your crew and Har as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason. And the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. 
You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Oh, he can almost make out the shape of his face. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. <laughs> So they're just gonna chill back there, sure. Um, excuse me. See this thing on my back? I could blow a hole in this ship and suck you all out into space. Uh, I'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna go and set some tea off, some dinner. Sorry, <laughs> and I'll be back. I might get something to drink as well. I'm a bit parched. I'll be back in a bit.
Okay. Ouch. Bloody cat swatted me. <laughs> Little shit. Anyway. Back to the tri treason trial. Trial of tre treason. Normandy, this is Admiral Chaleron Vastonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. <laughs> I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. You're an Admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tally and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tally. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. <laughs> they stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tally. You have friends who still know you as Tally Zorovas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of... <laughs> so that's my job. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. If I was Shepard... In this instance, I would be like, no, you are you will be exiled if this happens. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. But Thank Shepard you. can actually speak to people. I so. did not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Well that's <laughs> present the truth as best you can. <laughs> you have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. Is that grass? Cool. This enclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zoravas Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself. Her <laughs> captain. <laughs> Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Yeah. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts. Oh my god, that's uh, Morrigan from Dragon Age. To the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tali. The Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. 
What? Oh, Keela. I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been. <laughs> oh, my God. We have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile. I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. <laughs> we do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shot will be shooting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Doesn't paint a terribly good picture of the the Quarians, this exchange. Seeing as how they, you know, ambush her with the whole, oh yeah, by the way, your father's dead too. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you. Even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. <laughs> and my father, I I don't know. He he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conflict chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. <laughs> Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Perfect. Kavriger. Shepard, Telizora, good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. <laughs> it's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Okay. Maybe we'll find out a little bit more. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... Stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's sun? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. Mm. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. <laughs> what does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has a scientist worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. <laughs> Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Okay. How have you been, Rieger? You did kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. <laughs> With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. 
You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly fast. We should get going. Depressing, thank you. Stay safe out there. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. You didn't say much during the opening statements, Admiral. There wasn't much to say. This trial is a waste of time. It matters a great deal to me. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. But, uh, wow. Can you tell me anything about <sighs> Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Alcorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Charla Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. You saw no. experiments on <laughs> creatures? Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. <clears throat> oh, snap. The ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Right. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. <laughs> Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here. Oh, Vito! Oh, yes, nice. I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vito. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. <laughs> do you remember anything else about the collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I. I... Vito, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. <laughs> Thank you. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I didn't. But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. 
Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Allery. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Well. So to wear those masks. Well, I think they take them off uh, to do that. Like, they... <clears throat> I, I think they they just like load up on antibiotics and inject themselves with all sorts of like oops sorry uh, things to make sure they don't get an infection <laughs> it's, it, it can't be the most uh, uh, exciting thing I don't know it, what what tally says if you romance her she says she's like she's done this and then this and she's taken these and then blah blah blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, who knows? I have no idea. Um, At least someone here is looking out for Tally. Will retaking the Alari really help her case? Tally showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, well, you may find evidence of what happened. With Rock, it will exonerate That Tally is from my Rock. timer. I'm supposed to care about that now? <laughs> You should get to the other rice soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? I'm gonna go have some dinner and and then the cash nest. Well, uh, if you're promiscuous with a human, then probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go have some dinner and I'll be back in like 10, 15. See? Uh, yeah, back in a bit.
Okay, hello, I'm back. <coughs> uh, where were we? I cannot wait for the day where I don't ever have to look at this stupid green screen again. Jesus. Been sitting here the whole time, staring at this poor lady. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. You caught that? Yes, the guest presence <laughs> makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the whole world. You're thinking of war with the guest? I am not, Tali, but others are. That's a bad idea. <laughs> it's a very bad idea. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, <clears throat> but you can't take on the guest. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. Hmm. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Riel was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. <laughs> but it was <coughs> I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a... Oh god, I just... So they have to wear the suit all the time. So do they sleep? In the suits? I mean, Tally would have to because she's on our ship. <clears throat> um... I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told <laughs> Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rio was committed to the Quarian cause. <clears throat> that didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tali and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Fair enough. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> The marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. We should move on. Good luck on the other. Okay, one more. Jesus. <clears throat> Tally, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though, <laughs> the is in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. Put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. 
And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? <laughs> Tally's father wasn't just... Right That's two people that have said that. For fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the quarrying people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. That's, that's true. <clears throat> we served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. Crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, we're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes, the brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> That's rail for you. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? When you didn't recognize Tally as Admiral Zen, she's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. Snap. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Uh. Could you tell me anything about the Alari? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hell hole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. Ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. <laughs> I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you my volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alari. That's where we stand. Thanks for the information. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Admiral. Let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot about this guy. To play to a crowd, human. I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. Quib Quib. Take no pleasure in Tali, <laughs> truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever... I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. You have a ship named Quib Quib? 
Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quip Quip. And I will not flee because of petty insults. <laughs> Fair enough. Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active death to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. We should move on. <coughs> Goodbye, Tali. Oh. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Okay. We we good now, we've talked to everyone. <coughs> <laughs> Talizora Vas Nima. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean Vas Normandy. No offense taken. The change in name was not my choice. For Admiral Aran's orders, the shuttle is prepared for you and Captain Shepard Vas Normandy. Let's head to the LRI. Of course. I'll unlock the shuttle now. Good luck with those geth, Talizora. Kila Selai. <clears throat> Straight into it. Sorry, <coughs> mm. excuse me. I only have one metagel left. Oh shit. That I have to use immediately. God damn it. Oh, I didn't do any research. Oh, shit. We got a submachine gun upgrade. Probably should have done that. Oops. Oh, well. It's only 50% extra damage. No biggie. So what she's got a drone and that's about it. This is gonna be a long one. They're both dead in the first fight. That's a little embarrassing. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Stay here, for God's sake, please don't leave. This. 
your victims. Did I upgrade? I did, okay. Good. Oh, there's so many of them. There's just so, so fucking many. Oh my god. Well, this is going to be fun. That's always a good sign. Finally, I can use the gun again. This is super powerful, but very, very, uh, you get one shot and that's about it. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made the part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order. Something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages at secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home, and father would send a small ship. Cool. Hastrum was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Aliens <laughs> have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. God, I can't wait for the day when you can purchase a, st a broken starship for next to nothing. <clears throat> no, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that father actually did all this. Yeah, neither of those is a particularly nice outcome. God, they really love to. I always feel like we're going to be doing a fair few of these in here. This might be useful. Geth shield strength. I wonder what that could mean.
Uh oh. Dark. Gotta say, I'm not sure what the point of the stealth is if there's a great big glowing light in the center of the whole thing. Ugh. Waited for me to pop up and then shot me in the face. Point blank. Fantastic. Marks. <laughs> really? Looks like... Hey, Stone, how you doing? get plenty of time to do these. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's save so I don't have to do that again. Jeez. This up. <laughs> Spoke up a little while ago? No. I'm not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know, it is trying to make some progress in this, <laughs> slowly but surely. Okay, what is doing that? Why, why do I keep getting staggered without being hit? That's not, it's not much fun. Now uh, we're on the Quarian fleet. We just got uh, Tally's companion quest to do, and then that's the last one for now. Uh, we finished Garrus's and Thanes a little while ago. Um, and then I think we might start. No, we got some little ones to clean up. Uh, quests, that is. Um, but I would like to start Project Overlord. I think that'd be cool. Because I haven't done that. And that's like really the only part of the game I don't know anything about. So. The Shine Editor. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going with Jack this time around. But I think I'll probably end up playing this again. Just on my own sometime. And I think I'll probably end up going with Tally. Is it, is it th that big thing? Does it have like a special attack or something? It must have. I can fuck right off. Ooh, look at that health bar. Oh, I guess you can't because the avatar's in the road. Oh, you I love how they just get right up on top of you and shoot you in the fucking top of the dome.
Jesus. Oh, and they're just, they're just pouring into the room. Fantastic. Oh, son of a bitch. My health regens so slowly. Sometimes I feel like I'm actually there. Sometimes I feel like, you know, a geth is putting a, a shotgun barrel to my to my brains and pulling the trigger. Is that too dramatic? It may be. But you know what? It's just how it feels. Oh, another one. Great. Hiding back here. <laughs> there are some encounters, like we, I might die like once or twice. Um, and you know, it's not too bad. Then there are others like this, where it's just like, holy shit. Just relentless. I'm happy if I can just get rid of the shields. Yeah, there's a few there's a few of these missions that are uh like no matter what difficulty you're doing them on, except maybe like really easy, like the story mode or whatever it's called, that are still really fucking difficult because they just throw enemies at you non-stop that's good I, I pretty much always have trouble with this one because it's just that's like the guests big thing there's just millions of them they're like cockroaches No, no. Nice. Good shot. Oh, there's more! There's even more! Oh my god. It's... <laughs> the biggest ones, the ones that I have trouble with the most are the... Which these guys do. Is that they just, they'll just tank your shots and walk straight towards you. Those are the ones, I, just, I don't have the firepower to put people down quick enough if they're walking towards us. So they just walk up and pop me one. And, you know, job done. I'm dead.
you fucker. Oh, good. First try. First real try. Oh, I can now afford the Cerberus Assault Armor. I'm good, thanks. Oh, oh I guess it didn't go, go in there. Ah, good job, thanks. Uh, one, one encounter like this, probably like 20 more to go. I can't wait. experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance to reprogramming. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Okay. Did you know what kind of tests your father was running? No, Father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disruptive hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? You'll reclaim your homeworld someday, Tally. If your father can't help you, I will. Taking back our planet would only be the beginning. We'd have to cannibalize our fleet to rebuild cities and infrastructure. It would take generations of gene therapy to readapt our immune system so we could live without suits again. We'd be adapting our entire culture. Again. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it. If you don't take back your home, the Geth win. I won't let that happen. Not today. Not ever. Okay. At the very least, we can take <laughs> back one ship. Come on. We're just going to ignore the dead uh, quarry on the table there. Yep, yeah, okay. Didn't see anything then. Oh, no. At least we have. <laughs> It's over, Geth! I have the high ground! <laughs> oh no, the high ground didn't work! I'm not Obi-Wan Kenobi, that's why it didn't work. Wrong universe. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Have I ever, ever told you the definition of insanity? It's like slamming your balls into a vice and thinking it's not going to hurt. Oh, I hate shotguns. So much. I should have got a shotgun. Snipers are useless. <laughs> I think... Did, I think Tally may have just called herself a good girl. <laughs> um, okay. I can't have heard that right. What is she doing? You know what? You get to you get to stay dead. I'm not wasting mana gel on you.
Fuck me. This is just a joke at this point, isn't it? Where did that come from? <sighs> we may have to. I think I'm just going to get progressively worse as we go on. I might have to call it soon. He timed that so well. Like, I'm not even mad at that one. It's like he knew every time I was getting up. Oi, does someone want to, you know, maybe pay attention? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Got it. Grab and cover. This is ridiculous. I can't, I can't leave them alone for two seconds, otherwise... They're just really stupid. Focus on the ones nearest to you, you stupid smooth brains. Good. Tally brought her paper mache armor into uh, work today. That's good. Once we get through this fight, I'm gonna call it, <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll keep going on like Friday or something, I guess. Okay, stop focusing on the one down there and kill them. For God's sake. Got it. It's just a barrage. What? Like, a, it's just constant fire. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, now I can't see over.
What is that noise? It's awful. Oh, nearly. Get! Oh! <laughs> so fucking frustrating. So frustrating. Shepard just seems to really dislike being in cover. Don't get this edition. Buy the old ones. They're so much better. They work so much better. They might not have as many fucking pixels. But. Fuck. <laughs> they just work better. How do you how do you release a, something you call the legendary edition and make it shittier than the old one? <laughs> oh my god. I have played through the second one multiple times on insane difficulty and this has never been this bad. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> you ever seen have someone have a mental breakdown in real time? That's the way it's fucking going right now. Yes, because... I'm even holding the left, I'm holding this to point out this way. <sighs> oh, good. Yep, 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 good. That one is shooting from inside the roof, uh, so, you know, that's working just as intended. Yep. That's one of those flo floating guests. I guess it just uses uh, magic. Oh, fuck it. Can I? I can't even target that one. Oh, because it died, I guess. Speaking of dying. Hi there. <laughs> no! I'm holding on by like a thread here. This is all luck. This is none of this is any sort of skill. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. That was bullshit. I <laughs> I got a little bit mad, but I stand by what I said. Don't buy this edition. It's not worth the fucking ninety dollars or seventy dollars or whatever it is. Buy the old ones. Ugh. I don't know if the, if there's too much left of this. I don't want to just leave it off in the middle. Because I'll forget what happens. <laughs> Where's that quarry and log? Why does that keep popping up? I might be in the next room. Or it's right in front of my stupid face. That's a dead guy. <laughs> yeah, I think this is pretty close to the end. No, 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 no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me. Hey, hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. Yeah. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. Comes first. That's what he would have So many safes, so little money. Okay, I think there's one more fight and then that's this mission done. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's it's a it's a big boy. <laughs> I think they might be able to double shoot. I think that that must be an ability they have, because he just popped me twice. Right. No problem. Right. Wrong gun, dipshit. Don't leave your post. Right. 
See, I don't have a problem with just one big enemy. It's when there's 40,000 little ones. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, my God. So annoying. No sweat. hub father mentioned disabling it shut down any geth we missed i don't think we missed any tally i'm honest i think we killed pretty much every single fucking geth on the entire universe so you sound like you don't really want to hear it no we have to i know i just this is terrible shepherd i don't want to know that he was part of this <laughs> We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. It sounds like he was doing this for you. I never wanted this, Shepard. Kila, I never wanted this. Everything here is his fault. I... I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Rail Zora doesn't need you to worry about him anymore. You heard him say he didn't want you to be caught in the politics. You don't understand, Shepard. They would strike his name from the manifest of every ship he ever served on. He would be worse than an exile. He'd be a traitor to our people, held up for children as a monster in a cautionary tale. I can't let all the good he did be destroyed from this, Shepard. Okay. I'm not going to decide anything here. Let's see what the Admiral say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead. Hmm. None of this will matter.
Excuse me. Sorry, we're late. Hmm. He didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. Your success in taking back the Alarai is very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alarai that could clarify what happened there? Not suspicious at all. Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? Rally the crowd. Tally's achievements are the only evidence you should need. Come on, Tally, we're leaving. What? This is a formal proceeding! Wrong, Admiral. This is a sham. You're trying to build sympathy for the Geth that forced all the war effort. <laughs> that is completely... And you want all the messy experiments covered up so you can throw your fleet at the Geth. I... I... Do whatever you want with your toy ships. But leave my crew out of your political bullshit. We have no new evidence. You can accept Tali's word, or you can exile the woman who saved the Citadel from the Geth. Are the admirals prepared to render the judgment? Tali Zora, in light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. Hmm. You are cleared of all charges. Damn straight. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. With this trial over, I hope you can get back to more important matters, like taking your homeworld back from the Geth. We'll drink a toast on the homeworld, Shepard. Mark my words. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. Bunch of frickin' jabronis. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. It's been a while since anyone shouted down the Admiral. <laughs> I think it was good for them. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. Tell him about what your father said, what he did. You deserve better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Well, you can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Come on, Talizora Vas Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. Now, what's this? What did I get? Oh, a lot of renegade points and some tech damage. Nice. Let's level up. Energy drain. New outfit. Cool. So that's all of the companion quests done for now. There's one more companion left, but we can't really get into that until later. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. Oh yeah, what she look? Just, she just gets a little bit more gold. <laughs> I like the original. It's better. Look at all these chickens. Loyal, 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 loyal. It's kind of a similar outfit to Tally, actually. Uh, what was this unread message? So I just want to know that Drell's kid's doing okay, everything taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. 
I'm going to go and feed my fish, and then we're done. <laughs> I've had my ass handed to me too many times tonight, and it has broken me. Look at all these fish. Oh, and the terrible music playing as well. <sighs> okay. Good grief. Right. Well, after that shit show, <laughs> we did actually make some somewhat decent progress. Uh, we'll get... I'll, in between now and next time, I'll try and do some of the sh shitty missions that... Uh, we're going to take too long to do on stream and then we'll start project overlord next time because that's the one thing i know nothing about and want to know a lot uh, i want to do it because it looks cool basically um but as for that we'll play some divinity tomorrow and that's about it i think so yeah thanks for watching that painful process uh appreciate it uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night whichever it is stay safe and i will see you when i see you <laughs> okay bye bye